guys, I'm an idiot because I have had so many problems editing videos over the last like month. Uh, the last two weeks especially I've been trying to find editing softwares that let me edit and upload videos longer than five minutes and it has been a massive chore a, a chore that I did not need so I kind of had a lot of problems editing today my original editing software won't let me hear the, vo the any kind of noise or sound or anything from it and it plays just fine as a regular video. I just can't edit it with any sound. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I've checked everything. Everything is working fine. All the settings are set right. I, I just don't understand. I'm going to have to do it on a different computer than my desktop because my desktop flipping hates me. Anyways, so I've gone back to my old software. Hopefully, I, you know, once I move on to my laptops, I will be able to just, you know, have no problem editing videos and the stress will just melt away. But at the moment, the reason for my main idiosity is that I have already filmed this Fairy Loot unboxing. The box is sitting here open beside me, but I forgot to hit record. So I've pretty much seen everything in this box except for the book. I'm not even going to try to give an honest like wow reaction like I had when I was you know looking at everything as it came out but let's just go through everything that was in this box really quickly so we can get to the book and I can hopefully edit you know upload this video without actually having to edit it that would make me so happy because then I wouldn't have to actually fight with editing softwares I would I would absolutely love that because right now I'm, I'm just so fed up with them that it's not even funny. But to start things off, we have this phone that's going off in my pocket and I'm not even going to look at it because I'm filming right now. Anyways, uh, right now there's this beautiful candle that is inspired after Nevernight by Jay Kersoff and I, let's see, Geeky Clean made this and I'm not even going to cover, 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 I don't know how to say the name of this candle or whatever I do you know it it has kind of like a raspberry smell but really it's just a generic smell for a candle I do love the looks of the label and the look of the candle overall is really aesthetically pleasing moving on to the next item that was in the box which is put in this cute little mini box which is oh upside down is this beautiful necklace made by the Fairy Loot team that goes with the theme of the box, which is Rebels and Ball Gowns. And I completely forgot to tell you guys that the theme was Rebels and Ball Gowns, but now you know. Sorry guys, I am really frazzled about everything that has happened this last month, and I just want it all to settle back down. I will take all the other problems that I had before all these problems. Please, thank you, give them to me. Moving on, uh, the first thing is this the selection iron on patch which says it's always the fear of looking stupid that stops you from being awesome and I will say right now that I do love the design for this but I'm not a fan of iron on patches because unless it's going on a piece of clothing which I don't have any clothing I'd want to put this on this is not gonna be used I may find some way to like put it with the books like as a decorative item but I'm not gonna use this and then next you know I the selection series is outside of my hallway. I was holding that up in front of the selection or the Shadow Me series because the Shadow Me metal bookmarks are right here in my lap and I can't stop thinking about them because I really do love these bookmarks. I will only probably use them when I'm reading the last three books of the Shadow Me trilogy or it's not really a trilogy now, but the last set of three books. But I really, really love the two boys. It's just Juliet isn't exactly how I expected her to look which I'm not going to complain. I love the bookmarks and I'm going to use them even though I'm not a huge fan of metal or magnetic bookmarks because they're, I don't know, it's just something that does some of the pages in the book and I don't really like it. But I do love these. Moving on. Oh, wait, who was that made by? Uh, let's see. The patch. The patch was made by Ink and Wonder and I will have to put the name of the artist for these 
on the screen somewhere because I can't say the, the artist's name. I really need to learn how to because she's made a lot of stuff for this box. Or he. I don't discriminate. Let's see. This next thing is this pillowcase that says, Your future can be whatever you wish. We all have the power to choose our own destiny. And I had a thought of what this was a quote to what book this was. That made no sense. I had a, I thought I knew the quote this went, I thought I knew the book that this quote went to. Oh my goodness. But I was completely wrong. This is a, um, a quote to Legendary by uh, Stephanie Gerber. And did that Garber? I don't know how you say your name. Um, but anyways, this was designed by Miss Sai. Really beautiful. I love the fabric. It's I love the color scheme too. The whole um, red and gold and black. This just all really goes well together. And I know I'm rushing. I'm really, really sorry. But like I said, I don't want to have to edit unless I have to. Next up is what I was most excited for when I wasn't recording. And that is this reading journal that is... July through December 2018. Um, I said when I wasn't recording that I kind of want to use this, not necessarily this year. I'm kind of hoping that I can just use it next year. I mean, I doubt I'll use this day by day thing anyways. So, and maybe unless I write like certain page counts per day, but it's, mon it's mainly like these kind of pages that I'll be using. So I, I don't think it'll be a problem using it next year instead because I'm not really in a reading mood right now. I'm more or less in a writing mood. So if I can get like a writing journal, that would be great right now. So I'm going to try to use this just next year, even though I really, really love it and I've been dying to use a reading journal. Just I have, I'm not reading right now. So kind of pointless. Next up was this, um, Sarah Henning's The Sea Witch poster and I, said that I am going to get this book. I don't know if I've said it and I know I've said it at least one video, but it's a beautiful poster. This is going to go up on the wall somewhere, but I really love any kind of mermaid retelling or little mermaid retelling, even if it's not central to the little mermaid. So I really cannot wait for this book. I'm going to get it, but I'm not going to say when I'm going to get it because I don't know when I'm going to get it. I'll probably wait until it like goes on sale or I can get it from the book outlet or something like that. It depends. It really, really depends on how much it's going to be on uh, Books A Million because if it's only going to be like $10 and I can get even more off of it, like percentage off, then I'll go with that there. I mean, especially if I want to read it right away. So that was everything in the box that I did see. Next up, or last up really, is the book. At least I'm pretty sure it's the book. Nothing else seems to be jumping out at me. So the book feels really, really teeny tiny. And was this, I think this was, uh, supposedly this book is, isn't supposed to come out until like the end of July. If it's a sea witch, I'm gonna be so happy. But I don't think it is. Okay, I'm setting the book down so we don't see it. And we have the buddy card and the bookmark, like always. We have the author signature and the letter from the author that I'll be reading later. And ooh, we have the artwork that Fairy Loot said they've been including artwork that features characters from the book. And this is so beautiful. I love that Fairy Loot's doing that now. I have no wall space at all thanks to fairy loot because I love all the artwork they include. And then this is the fairy scoop which I'll look at in a second. Then we have this that says fire, breathe, water, burn, stars, lead the way, your sister is here. Oh, and it's a, um, what are these things called? Uh, postcard. Why did I have to think about what that was called? Moving on. Of course, the book is Grace and Fury by Trace Baghart. And I know absolutely nothing about this book at all. It has a beautiful cover on it, but I've never heard of this book. And it's very teeny tiny, so it won't take that long to get through. Let's see what it looks like naked. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. It says, not all prisons have bars, which is completely true. You can be a prisoner in your own home, and this is a beautiful back cover, too. I absolutely love this book, Naked. I think when I actually read this book, I'm going to read it naked. Even though the, the dust jacket's beautiful, this is just stunning. 
Let's see, what is the book about? In a world where women have no rights, sister, Serena and Nomi, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off because it's making my vision double. Uh, Nomi face very different fates, one in the palace, the other on an island prison where women must fight to survive. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm guessing her, that's how you pronounce her name is Serena. Serena has spent her whole life preparing to become a grace, selected to stand by the heir to the throne as a shining example of the perfect woman. But her headstrong and rebellious younger sister has a dangerous secret, and one wrong move could cost both sisters everything. Can Serena fight, and will Nomi win? Very, very interesting. I mean, I know right away that I'm not going to read this, like, right away. It'll probably be, like, a while down the road before I read this. Because, I I don't know, It's I'm not really interested to read this kind of book. I'm actually thinking about picking up um, Love Interest next, because I'm just kind of in the mood to read LGBTQ novels, whether they're contemporary or not. Actually, if they weren't contemporary, I think I would love them even more. And if you guys can't understand me, I'm also very, very sorry. I talk really fast, especially when I want to get things done, or I get frustrated, either one. But I don't know. This is very, very interesting. And is it true that this doesn't come out until like next month? Let's see. Yeah, this book, it actually isn't out until the end of July, which is very, very awesome. And apparently this is the standard UK edition, but in hardback. Which is very, very nice because I tend to like the uh, the UK edition covers more than I like the, you know, the normal, somewhat more boring US edition covers. It depends on what book it is. But I'm, I'm going to look and see what the cover for the US edition of this book looks like. I'm also going to look it up in general online because, like I said, I've never heard of it. I want to hear what people are saying because, you know... Someone out there has had to have an arc, even though I've gotten bad. I've been reading reviews about books that I haven't read yet and that I do plan on reading, but it's like I just want to hear what people are saying about them, which I guess isn't a bad thing because I'm not really letting them influence my decision to read the book or not. But I feel like that it eventually it's going to change my opinion on the book because I'm going to see faults that before I wouldn't have seen if I hadn't ever read their reviews. So it's kind of 50-50 on that. But yeah, everything in this box is absolutely beautiful. I do think that I have way too many favorites in this box. I know I went by so fast with all of them, but I really do love the reading journal and the pillowcase. Both are absolutely stunning. And then I also absolutely love, love, love this necklace. This necklace. I cannot speak today. Also, I'm sorry about the background noise. I'm trying to talk over them, but they are loud. Um, besides that, I think the bookmarks would have to be like my second. Those all three were tied for first. The bookmarks are definitely my second favorite thing in the box. Then the candle and then the patch. And the patch... Like I said, I will try to put like decoratively around my books out there, but I'm just not a fan of iron on pouches. Can you iron these on like um, purses? Because then I may actually use it, but then I'd also be afraid that the patch was going to fall off and I'd lose it somewhere and that would cause me a little bit of anxiety because I hate losing things. So maybe that's not the best idea. I will, I will think of something to do with this. But that is it for this video. You can tell I am so stressed because I am doing the weirdest things right now. Okay, let's just end this video before I do anything potentially embarrassing. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I will leave a link to Fairy Loot's website in the description box below, even though it's literally just fairyloot.com. I'll still leave a link, just in case you don't feel like typing it in. Uh, but that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching me and my whatever I want to call this right now. Mental breakdown. Whatever. Uh, bye.